let's uh, take a look at some of the stories uh, that I'll be looking at. A new book sets out to examine the history between the British and the Sikhs. Historian Gurinder Singh Man has travelled to India to explore the relationship between the two groups, which dates back as far as the 18th century. And uh, Gurinder cho joins me this evening. Good evening, Gurinder. Good evening. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thanks so much for speaking to us. So uh, tell us about the relationship then, because I, I, like a lot of people, probably thought that it was during... Um, kind of the British Empire and, 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 and kind of just maybe a, a few decades before partition. But it goes back way further than that, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. The key thing I wanted to actually get across with this particular book was that uh, the relationship has go, goes back to the 18th century. So whilst the East India Company had been in India from the 1600 onwards, we start seeing that there's this kind of um, anecdotes which uh, come out from the early 1700 period on, and this includes descriptions of Sikh martyrdom, includes the rise of the Sikh confederacies, which are the Sikh missiles, uh, leading up to Sikh's uh, takeover of Delhi in 1783. So it just shows that there's a very, very rich relationship which has totally been kind of uh, neglected until now. Uh, what are the... Um, how difficult was it for you to, I suppose, find these? Because obviously as as decades go on, uh, mm. the few people are around that were, that were around and certainly the stories that would be uh, fed down through generations, how difficult was it to actually get down to uh, the, finding out the facts on this? Well, the interesting thing is I've been working in Sikh history and heritage for over 20 years, you see. So whilst I've uh, written books on different uh, areas of Sikh history, I think it was key area now to actually look at, uh, um, you know, the Anglo-Sikh relationship. So I've actually been researching in like a lot of museums here in the UK. I've been to a lot of archives, say the British Library, British Museum, archives in, um, say, Scotland, for instance, but also uh, looking at a lot of documents which do go back to the 18th century, which do exist, a bit harder to find, but they still do exist. And, you know, that's a great testimony of the East India Company of keeping those records as well. And Gurinder, what impression are you left with about how, how Sikhs got on with the British during the 18th century then? I think the 18th century was a discovery phase for both groups, really. I think um, in the early period of the 18th century, the Sikhs were just kind of like, just seen in a kind of quiet light. But once the Sikhs had actually created their confederacy, so to speak, and had taken over Delhi in the late, uh, latter half of the 18th century, you actually start seeing this kind of um, symbiosis of ideas because the East India Company was also trying to rule over Delhi as well. So you see these two groups coming into kind of like, um, not exact kind of battle as such, but they were actually kind of eyeing off each other, which would later come on in the Anglo-Sikh wars some decades later. And what about the relevance of all that you've discovered for Sikhs today then? I think there's a great relationship which exists, and I think uh, books like this um, actually show that, uh, you know, that whilst there has been a complex relationship over the many, many years, there's a lot of interest, um, interesting artifacts, interesting um, anecdotes, and interesting, like, um, descriptions, which can actually show both groups in different lights, positive and negative, but can actually bring, you know, people closer together through uh, books like this. Okay, so when's it out, uh, and what's it called? Uh, Okay, it's already out, and it's called The British and the Sikhs, Discovery, Warfare and Friendship, and it's available, available from the Hellion uh, book publishers, which is www.hellion.co.uk. Gurinder, thank you so much for speaking to us this evening about your new book. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. That was uh, Gurinder Singh Man there. Um, and if you missed those details about the publishers, give us a call here, 0800 121 8080, free phone number. Really interesting. I, did, I didn't realise it went so far back. And uh, you always hear about stories through kind of, you know, your, your friends or your relatives about uh, how they kind of, um, uh, how they worked and, and lived with uh, during the time of uh, British rule in India. Uh, but uh, yeah, fascinating to get some history on it. Uh, but yeah, so that book is out. So give us a call here if you've missed any of those details.